Was that the... What's the, what's the... Oh, look at that. It's day 10. I finally opened F3 on a separate recording the next day. Oh, yeah, and this is a part two of a uh, previous one. If you haven't watched that, I'm telling you right now, you don't really need to. It's not that important at all. All you need to know, I built a house, and I have cool modded armor. That's really it. Anyway, the first thing I did, I went caving, and I found this big ravine with a mine shaft at the bottom of it. So I went exploring, walked past modded ore, you know, just because I hate you specifically, awesome? and I won't let you see what the modded ore is actually called. Found green shit, mined a bunch of gravel for no reason, and just gave up. Went into this weird biome and found this purple ore. Kyber. I, I don't know. Got into some fishy cups with two skeletons, and I, I got just, I, I just had to be close to fucking death and, and dying, man. But you know, I was, I was fine. I wanted to smelt up my kyber, but I realized I didn't have any fuel, so I went out looking for lava. Mm, that was pretty easy, probably because I'm underground. So I went, I got my lava, and then I went and smelted up me, me kerber, kerber. It was kind of bad, but like. I didn't really have anything else, so I decided to put it on anyways, you know. Might as well. Found more oak ore and diamonds, too. You know, only two. But, because of my fortune pickaxe that I have, it was like, probably three, maybe. More G for the collection. <laughs> Mine more of these things, and then put them into my blast furnace because this ore actually can only be smelted in a blast furnace for whatever reason it still takes the same amount of time like as any other ore in a blast furnace it's still sped up so i don't know why you need a blast furnace but you know i'm not complaining it gives me a blast furnace after all my mining i went and i got some sugar cane and I made a book. This book will be used for enchanting, which is pretty obvious, fucking idiot. Zero bitches. But before any of that, we need bookcases, of course. So I had my sights set on that structure as I thought it could have books in it, since I thought I recognized the structure from something I've seen before. And that had a lot of bookcases in it. It had like 20 of them. So I thought, oh, I'll go here and get some bookcases. There were these really weird looking bookcases, you know, like, they had, like, weapons, and they were pigs. Uh, I don't know, it must be the new update. Anyway, I killed them, and I checked the place out. It didn't really have books. It had that one, but that one doesn't count, and it had a lot of obsidian. So, not that great, but I'll take the obsidian. Oh, so I went exploring around, and I got teleported back to 2010. So, neat, I guess. This is literally just a normal oak forest, but it looks like this. Anyway, with my new armor, I decided it was time to finally build another portal and go to the nether. But before any of that, I learned that you can throw pebbles and they bounce off the water. You know, like real rocks. <laughs> so that's cool. Anyway, I lit up my portal and I went into hell. The first thing I saw was the forbidden hell color of yellow. And everything else looks pretty normal. So I went exploring for, you know, the only reason you go to the nether. But instead I found this big thing. It was like really big. And it was like also really huge. And it was quite large actually. Now some of you might say, bruh, that's just a bastion. And to that I say, mm-hmm. But look at this. It is fucking skulk. It also makes this wonderful, peaceful sound. Take a listen. Anyway, I dealt with Satan, and because of that, I saw the second coming of Christ. Oh my fucking god. Jesus only dropped, like, an efficiency for diamond pickaxe. So, like, honestly, dude, like, <laughs> get good. yourself! You gotta at least get, like, unbreaking three on that, dude. Oh, so if you're wondering later how I have blaze powder, this is how. It just is in random ne nether treasure chests. So, I don't ever need to go to a fortress. 
which is really cool. Anyway, next up in the clip stream is me finding this fucking Bastion 2.0. This thing was absolutely fucking huge and filled with piglins, oh my god. Anyway, I dealt with them with my overflowing, never-ending amount of gamer skill. And I, like, I got the hell out of there for a second, and then I went right back in. <laughs> this was actually the first time of me seeing this structure, so I was just like you. A fucking idiot <laughs> when it came to exploring this thing. So I just kind of wandered around in these big towers. I just, like, went to the top of one, and then I went down. And you cannot believe how well this worked. I got so much fucking loot. Look at this. I am in a never-ending stream of good, good stuff. Wow. Anyway, after, like, two hours of exploring this fucking tower and shit, I decided, screw this, and I just got out of there. And of course, because I was a low down, it put me in a fucking cave, so I had to make my way up. When I reached the surface, I found a shipwreck, so I when I explored it, I found its map, and I went to the treasure. It had normal treasure loot. You know, not tre treasures aren't changed, but fucking mod changes treasures, idiot. Zero bitches. Oh, and I forgot the most important part. I left my recording on for like four hours. Look at this. Anyway, back to Minecraft. Oh, so here's a good opportunity to look at all of the stuff I got throughout my journey. The long tail. I got so much fucking stuff. I can't fit it all in my inventory. Anyway, I made my way back home and then I went to sleepy time. Because I'm really tired. I spent like a week in the fucking nether, man. Actually, it was eight days, not seven. You can see it right there. Anyway, I put away my boundless treasure, and then I went to, like, go get bookcases, because, oh yeah, I forgot I was I was supposed to be doing that. And the way I decided to get bookcases was to go to the easily the hardest location to get to, the fucking village in the sky. So, good job, me. You're really smart. Anyway, I made my way up there, and then I went and harvested the leather and paper it, surrounded by wood. After getting all those, I went back home, went to sleep, and then I decided to decorate it a little bit with my books. Which you might be wondering, how do you decorate with a book? <laughs> well, you just stack them on top of each other, dumbass. Zero. So I went around and decorated the place a bit, you know, placing the books. And after purposely making my house look worse, I decided to go and make an enchanting room. Not in the house, but just like in the yard right in front of it. So after finishing up the enchanting room, I looked at it and said, it, it, it looks okay. I wouldn't say it's good, but you know, whatever. I also went and turned the enchanted diamond gear I got into enchanted netherite gear, you know, cause I'm just so rich I can just do that. Anyways, I climbed back up to the sky village. You know, I climbed to the top. I turned on my shaders. And then I jumped off and killed myself. No! Just kidding, I have another one of those glider things. And you know, also the animation isn't broken anymore. So, that's cool. And also, you, uh, for you perceptive users out there, you may realize this is actually like the thumbnail for the first part of the series, I guess. And to that I say, yeah, it is. After gliding around for a little bit, I dropped right down onto my front door. I went to my chests, you know, sorted things around, and then uh, ended my recording. Wait, what? Oh, so subscribe or I'll fucking end you.